I'm going to try and not be biased here and gush over my Philly, but these two are getting ready to uh, turn and work here on the synthetic surface at Santa Anita. This is very typical of the Phil D'Amato barn. He does work pretty much everything on the synthetic course there at Santa Anita. And as we pick this work up, I believe that's Hang the Moon in behind. I think so, right? Yep. Yeah. And she's just going to go ahead and anchor off her competition there, which I, I think that is Gold Phoenix on the front. So he's going to set a little bit more of the pace. Uh, Ryder taking a hold, just getting her to try and settle a little bit behind if he can. And these two uh, seem like they're going to be fairly evenly matched as we do kind of come around the turn. It's a tighter course on the synthetic training track there at Santa Anita. So they will kind of come around that turn pretty quickly and then a short finish. Yeah, you got to remember Hang the Moon. I mean, race back on the t or 5th of October. She had a really sharp work going into that race, 58 and change. But here, just sitting in behind like she runs and draws up sides here. Very uh, easy start into the work. I like that. Slow start and let him finish down the lane. And uh, she's looking good. So is Gold Phoenix. I mean, this is great to see two. You don't often see two Breeders' Cup horses paired up together and working company. But they're running in the same kind of division in their respective sexes, you know, Philly and, and Mare, so it makes sense to pair them up, and she worked nicely here. Gold Phoenix is like clockwork. He works yeah. like that every single time they send him out there. He's just so reliable on track in the afternoons as well. You get that consistent performance from him, puts a good amount of energy into his training. What I really like about Hang the Moon is how you can see that Uncle Mo and her, that big arc to her stride. She's very scopy.